edible poly, the selection rollout, shrink and grow. So let's select an edible poly. That allows us to come over here and pick on the edible poly into its sub-objects. We come down into the selection area. We do have the selection area of we can pick on edges and vertexes, borders, polygons, and elements. Let's say we pick on elements. I mean polygons, excuse me. And in the polygons, I'm going to come along and I'm going to pick uh, a variety, of, and I'm going to just hold the control key down. I'm going to, I'm going to pick, and I'm going to. Oh, I'll tell you what. I'm going to window that again, and I'm just going to pick uh, a circle around here. And so I can pick on the top of the key uh, teapot here. And once I, I have a a fairly good selection here. You can say, well, you know, I want to grow my selection set. So if I come down here and hit on the grow button, you can see how when I click, it added more to my selection set. I'm going to pick the grow button again and again and again and again. You can see how my selection is growing. And if I want to hit shrink, my selection decreases. So I'm decreasing my selection. I'm going around and and I keep shrinking it until I get to where I want to get to. So I can grow and I can shrink uh, my selection set. So let's just say I pick one polygon and I can grow it and I can grow it again and I can grow it again and I can shrink and I can shrink and I can shrink and it comes back to its one again. So growing and shrinking picks the various sub-levels and it allows you then to select more of them or less of them. Whichever sub-levels you have is the grow and shrink option in the selection rollout.